Storm Team Weather Lab. KMAC meteorologist Shelby Mack. This morning we're starting off with mild conditions for our Treat Yourself Tuesday and our treat today is that we are going to be nice and quiet, not seeing too much of a breeze and we are going to be staying dry as well, even though we saw maybe just a couple of sprinkles of rain coming through yesterday, but it wasn't even a tenth of an inch. So if you saw some rain, you are the lucky ones because the rest of us didn't see too much. However, what's not so lucky is that we are starting to see some severe weather picking up with that system that moved through yesterday and it's bringing in just a little bit of this bone system into Louisiana and Mississippi and it's actually got a little bit of a cyclone holding on to it on the tip of the northeastern portion of the Lone Star State and into the southeastern portion of Oklahoma. So if you know anyone over there, go ahead and give them a call. Make sure that they know that they've got some severe weather coming and it's already happening currently closer to Oklahoma and into our northeastern portion of Texas. Now locally though, not seeing too much happening, seeing these nice clear skies. Winds are moving in from the northwest but very calm right now at five miles an hour in La Mesa, seven miles an hour in Rawls. These peak winds anywhere from about 10 to 15 miles an hour, only four miles an hour in Lubbock. And these temperatures are going to stay pretty chilly through our morning. Once that sun comes up, though, we will start to see this gradual warming through the rest of the day. But currently we're closer to the upper 20s in our northwestern corner into Lubbock and our central counties. We're closer to the upper 20s and lower 30s near that freezing mark and then our south Eastern counties are into the upper 30s and lower 40s. Feeling just a little bit chillier though because we are seeing such clear skies and because of that breeze. But we are going to start to see these temperatures staying nice and mild as we go into our lunchtime hours, getting into the mid to upper 50s. And then starting to see a little bit of shift in these winds as they move in from the southwest throughout our evening. And so our temperatures will be making it into the upper 60s and lower 70s by dinner time before trying to drop just a little bit into the lower to mid 50s by 10 p.m but we are not going to get as cold by tomorrow morning as we are this morning because of the southerly breeze pushing in a little bit of that nice warm air. However, tomorrow we are going to be even warmer than today by about 10 degrees as we get into the upper 70s and lower 80s. And we're going to start to see a chance for some fire weather coming in as well. However, this fire weather chance is going to stay at the elevated risk because we are going to be seeing not too much of a breeze coming through. But we will still see a little something happening. And if that becomes a little bit windier out there, we could start to see that critical fire weather for our forecast tomorrow. However, tomorrow is going to be our our warmest day of the week as we see our warmest day we've had so far in March. But then as we continue to go throughout the rest of our Thursday, we will see this cold front coming on in just in time for St. Patrick's Day. And then we are going to be about 20 degrees cooler as our temperatures are in the lower 60s for our Thursday afternoon and then slowly warming as we go into our weekend, Laura.